Hello everyone, welcome to Harry's Book Cafe. Um, I would like to do a quick um, review of the new Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, but purely from a reader's perspective. There are quite a lot of reviews of this tablet already on YouTube, but most of them are uh, coming from gamers perspective um, and they concentrate pretty much a lot on the uh, hardware uh, capabilities um, but I really want to do a video just for readers and see how good this tablet is um, to read Kindles and other ebook device um, applications on this device um, but before I do that I just want to tell you a little bit more about what I have been using over the years to read my Kindle books so originally I had the um, original Kindle um, that was really, really good. But then as technology progresses, that one start to lose its shine. So for a start, the uh, definition is a little bit too um, too blurry for my liking. So I sold that one and I started uh, in the beginning to use. So I've been using my phone to read Kindle books. Um, and it's very good, it's perhaps the most convenient way of doing it because it goes everywhere uh, with me every time you know you, you don't leave your house with your phone so everywhere on the train, on the plane, uh, is very accessible the only problem with the phone is that it is simply too small uh, the screen isn't big enough so my solution is to pick up my old Tab S2 so this is an old tablet it is incredibly light and I really like reading books on this um, particular model. The reason for that is the green screen is so much saturated than say an iPad. Uh, the only problem with this one is because it's so old, it's excruciatingly, excruciatingly slow and it always seems to crash with the Kindle for some reason. So making the overall using, uh, user experience pretty terrible. So the next solution is to steal my daughter's iPad. Now, reading on iPad is absolutely fantastic. The, the, the letters are crisp, crispy clear. The only problem is, is um, iPad is slightly heavier than the tablet that I used to. Uh, the other problem is that my daughter keep stealing it back. And because of all that, I decided to purchase the new uh, Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. There are three models. You got the normal S9, the S9 Plus, and the S9 Ultra. The only difference with the uh, the ninth generation is the screen size. Now with the S Plus, which is what we have here, is the middle of the road. It has a 12.4 inch uh, screen, and that's OLED screen, so it's incredibly clear and fantastic. The Ultra uh, is just a little bit too large for me. It's 14 and a half, so it's the size of a laptop. Um, the S9, I think, is 10.4, so that's a decent size, but I just want something a little bit larger. Um, so this is one that I got, and the first thing I noticed uh, compared to the iPad is that this is much, much faster than the iPad. It's incredibly fast, uh, certainly with, app, um, with a normal sort of everyday application, but we want to focus... Uh, especially on Kindle and Libby. So with the Kindle, overall user experience is absolutely phenomenal. I truly enjoyed reading on this device. It is crystal clear and it's just so incredibly fast. When you open something, the reaction time is instantaneous. Um, and it really, it makes a refreshing change compared to the old tablet that I used to have. You tab it, it's there. It's incredible. Um, and what I really like is, as you can see, when you tap on the page, the on the bottom, the most uh, used used apps are listed below. So, for instance, I can effortlessly sw switch from Kindle to Netflix, from Netflix to Libby. Libby Instant, um, by the way, is another reading app, and that is for the local library. So you can download this app and borrow a library card, and you can start. Um, borrowing books online. So um, from a reader, reader's perspective, I really appreciate the large screen. That 12.4 inch really makes a great um, big difference compared to reading on my phone or even compared to reading on most Kindle applications. Um, however, with the new Kindle Scribe, 
um, it has a 10.4 um, inch screen so that the, the screen isn't a problem on this one the only reason I didn't purchase another Kindle device but get it on the tablet is because it just looks so much nicer because everything is in color whereas in Kindle everything is black and white so it just doesn't look as good um, so yeah so from a reader's perspective I absolutely love this tablet the only downside for this particular model is, is it is heavy because the size <laughs> it is massively heavy um, however with the with the purchase of this new um, little cover I managed to uh, read it read books uh, in this orientation so I can just lean back on my sofa and start reading um, this particular you know books and stuff like that it's just a, a great experience I can recline on my sofa eating grips like a Roman Emperor um, absolutely phenomenal so I just thought I'd do a quick uh, very quick review purely from readers perspective I highly recommend this tablet uh, if you are into reading with your tablet uh, Kindle works like a dream uh, Libby works like a dream there's absolutely no complaint um, I would however advise you to purchase the smaller uh, variation of this particular model it's just uh, because it's, <laughs> it is quite heavy um, but with this particular cover that, that sort of problem moves away um, but if you don't want to get the cover, if you just want to hold it, then get the smaller version, um, the, the Tab S. Anyway, that's it. Uh, that's all for today. I really hope that you enjoy this particular and short episode. Uh, if you do, please give it a thumb up and subscribe to the video so I can uh, introduce more videos like this in the future. It really does help with YouTube algorithm. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Cheerio, until next time.